Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have Thomas Jardin. He is a coach, and he's a coach that focuses on drawing and creativity he has a lot of different tools and techniques to help individuals open up to their inner selves. And he's going to talk a little about himself right now, tell you a little about what he does, and talk a little about how he coaches through drawing. So Thomas, tell us a little about yourself and what you do. <laughs> Hi, CC. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Thomas Jardin, my name is Thomas Jardin. <laughs> I live in Europe, in Hungary, in Budapest, and this is almost midnight here, so this is why, why the lighting is so different than, than <laughs> on your screen. Well, I work as a coach and, and a strategic consultant nowadays, nowadays and uh, I have uh, two things uh, what, <clears throat> what excites me, what excites me the most. In my professional professional life, these two things are uh, complexity and creativity. In complexity, the focus is on uh, understanding understanding it, interpret it, modeling it, and taming it to my clients. And in creativity, <clears throat> uh, creativity, my creativity is inspired by intuition, visualization, problem solving, and co creation with my clients. And I I can experience the complexity in my in my role as a board member board member for several companies and uh, i can experience creativity anywhere you can see there's a flip chart <laughs> on my right i would like to demonstrate some things if i may so if there's a good topic and a paper for drawing for scribing or or doodling this is where the creativity comes out of me some background i have an msc in computer science and I have a very typical career path. At the beginning, I was a software developer, then a system analyst, then a project manager, then a manager. So uh, I deeply understand uh, what is corporate life. I am a project management professional, PMP by PMI. I have an MBA. And uh, uh, nearly 20 years ago, I funded my own consulting company. I've been working as a coach for 18 years. And I have hundreds of clients and I have more than 5,000 uh, coaching hour experience. Uh, some, some, some private things. I'm a Buddhist person. I practice meditation regularly as, as all, all other Buddhists. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I know that uh, this meditation has me a lot in mindfulness and uh, to be in the very present moment on my coaching session. Uh, I've been practicing judo for more than 45 years. I ran to six done. And what I learned in judo is uh, how to be disciplined. What about a fighting spirit and the approach of never give up? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> now, when it comes to coaching and, and using creativity, you know, I, I find that a lot of times, even um, when you have a, a lot of counselors will use creativity to help children and, and coach children. And, you know, how do you um, use drawing and creativity to have people open up and, and, and how does it help people? Uh, how do I help people? You know, my, my very first drawing is I have a very simple coaching model. Coaching is always coaching is always a kind of development, a kind of change, a traveling from point A to B. Yes. Anyway, do you do you know the origin of a coaching term? The origin of a coaching term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May I show it? Yes, please do. <clears throat> well, well, the term of a coaching developed at the Oxford University, uh, I guess in England uh, in in the 18, 1830s. Uh, this was used as a slang for a kind of tutoring that would help students to pass their exams. Mm -hmm. And why did they call it coaching if you had <clears throat> to travel those times to get from point A to point B, then you have to take a horse down coach. Uh, so if you were going from Dover to London, for example, then you might coach to London. Mm -hmm. And if you were trying to, to pass your exam at the Oxford University, you might be coached through your exam. Mm -hmm. And when England 
professionalized the sport. They borrowed this term uh, and created a role of athletic coach. And that's not the end of the story. <laughs> you know, I'm a, Hungary, I'm a Hungarian and uh, we are a very small country, less than 10 million people. So we are, we are very proud of uh, Hungarian uh, inventions, <clears throat> mm -hmm. how we contributed to the world. Vitamin C, ballpoint pens, safety match, Rubik's Cube, uh, the early version of Word and Excel software, so the Prezi, mm -hmm. just name a few. And it is said that the horse-drawn carriage was developed in a small village of coach, K-O-C-S, coach. And the coach means a carriage from coach. So this is the very origin. It has a Hungarian roots, and then it was uh, redefined by, by the Oxford University <clears throat> in the 1830s. And my, my smallest uh, or shortest coaching model, so we are traveling for point A, this is point E, this is the target, the point P where we would like to travel. There might be a straightforward road, or they might be a bit longer road, or they might be a road which never goes to the uh, to the point where where we, what we what we would like to reach. Yes. And uh, coming back to your question, thank you for your patience. Yeah. So the point T. When I started conver coaching conversation, we are always speaking about a point A. Where are we now? Right. And there are two schools in coaching. One is focusing on the strengths, what we have, in order to, to support the start, to support, support the journey from point A to B. Right. And the other is focusing on the weaknesses, what should be developed and what should be uh, understand and analyzed. <clears throat> I'm definitely coming from the first uh, approach. So I like to focus on, on the strengths with my clients. Yes. And, uh, you know, as I like doing, I have a very special model in it. And we also mentioned in the book some models. This model is about the pillar of self-esteem. Uh, the pillar of self-esteem is all those results and strengths and certifications and experiences and factors of your own proudness, what you have created in your life. Yes. This is a cumulative and historic. And we, we do a very, very simple drawing. That's the ground floor. And this is the building block, one building block, two building blocks, three and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So, and how it works, it partly demonstrates the, the power of visualization, the power of drawing. Everyone knows this data. Everyone knows this data without a shadow of doubt. I know where I finished the schools. I know my, my, my exams, the results and so on. So I can, I can recall it in my memory. I can remember, but uh, that's not enough. That's not enough just knowing the data because if you recall it, it requires time. It requires time and you never do it. You never do it because, uh, because uh, uh, we do not see it as a necessary thing. Mm -hmm. But when I collect with my clients uh, these factors, these building blocks are their pillar of self-esteem, they can see its wholeness. They can see, they can see, just watch and watch and watch and somehow filled up. This right. is somehow how you can generate mental power. And uh, how do we use this? You can stand here on the ground floor. You can dig a hole or a pit and you can put it yourself here, mm -hmm. just decreasing your self-esteem or you can position yourself on the top. Right. We are co-creating it. I, I, I'm now doing it very quickly. Of course, in a coaching session, it's, a, uh, it's done in a more profound, more, more systemic way. But somehow, this is the end, how I start a coaching conversation, focusing on the strengths and uh, realizing the different perspective. You can see in a pit, the earth and nothing else, somehow positioned in a very fear place. Yes, you can you can you can define you as a, to into an average position, or you can define you in in a in a kind of a winning or champion position. Okay, how different the perspective is, and when we co-create with my client such a drawing, then uh, we take a pause for a while and think about it, and thinking kind of deepening questions. Say, what's the different perspective? Where are you regularly? Where are you today? How can you maintain this? Of course, that's trivial. This is the winning position. Yes. But uh, 
that we know many trivialities in our life, but we cannot implement the consequences of those trivialities. And I ask my clients, hey, take it away. Take it away and see it regularly. You know, if you do biceps curls, you might have a big biceps. Mm -hmm. If you do not do any curls, you have an average biceps. The same right. with mental strengths. If you are watching this kind of interpretation of your own strengths, then it generates something special. But I cannot accept, uh, express, neither on my Hungarian language. It, it, maybe we can call it a kind of insight. A kind of insight. Imagine that every morning I come into this flip chart and just watching it for five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know how uh, it, uh, how possibly it can generate power. How possibly it can generate uh, mental readiness or mental power. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how I this is how I do begin coaches. We always always focus. It doesn't mean that we do not see do not speak about the problems, but the best things to start a journey. The best things to face with a challenge is understanding my capabilities, understanding my strengths and, and focusing on it and utilize it. Yes. Now, when, when someone comes to you and they might be going through some, um, some emotional um, distress or they might have problems going on, but they don't really know what the root cause is. And they, but they don't feel right. They don't feel themselves. They, they're not focused. They, they see that there, there's something going on within them, but they're not sure what the main cause is. They might have problems in their life, but they don't know what the root cause is. Do you use any type of creativity strategies to figure out when someone comes to you and they need help and they're not really sure what the true root cause is? Can you take different strategies and different ways of using creativities to figure out what's truly going on and what the main cause is? <clears throat> well, that's, that's a brilliant question. Uh, an essay could be written about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in, my, in my coaching philosophy, uh, the coach is responsible for the process, the coach responsible for the process, and the coach responsible for the content. Yes. And these, these two have... Uh, formulates a whole one. So I think I can work uh, with those type of clients who has a kind of hot topic. Mm -hmm. This is, this is my, where my strengths come, where my strengths uh, uh, we can exploit in a coaching session. Right. So what, what you spoke about in my practice, I'm not sure whether is it a therapy issue or can I do something with my own... Uh, on, on 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 capability that's that's a question of mine yes uh, I, under, I i understand your summary but uh, uh, as i see it can be a direction of solution when i uh, when after the first session then i realize that it requires something special something different uh, compared to my my understanding <clears throat> and my knowledge and uh you know if if someone who is as hesitating as you as you as you described then uh I would like to dedicate one or two coaching about, I would like to understand them. I would like just speaking and most probably I do not push uh, to do anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> uh, I'm not good in freestyle drawing. So mm -hmm. what we draw in the book, what we develop, it has a, it has a kind of algorithm and be behind the, the algorithm, there is always a kind of metaphor or model or symbol. Yes. This is also a different profession to use freestyle drawing and, and analyze it and, and create con consequences. But uh, bring a topic uh, into this thread, uh, some, it is often asked that uh, are there people who are afraid of drawings? And uh, you know what I do when, when this question comes in? I, I, asked, I asked my clients to write their name with handwriting on a paper. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's an easy task. They're watching me. Yeah, that's quite, quite a weird. Why do I ask it? And then I ask them to change their hands and use the unpreferred one and do the same and write their first name on a paper. Uh, it, that's not so smooth line, but it also works. Everyone can do it. Mm -hmm. And then I ask them to do a dot, to do a line, a curve, a rectangle, a triangle with their unpreferred hands. And of course, they can do it. That's not nice, but everyone can. Everyone can do it. Right. So, 
And that's the point when they created, okay, this is all what we, we need. What you draw with your unpreferred hands, uh, that's absolutely enough to create those kind of drawings what we use in the book. And we use, for example, uh, mm, staircase or, or glasses <clears throat> or triangles or very simple objects like a lighthouse or a spaceship or a, a, I don't know the English term. Well, for example, circles and, and an arrow across it. Uh, so it's mm -hmm. very, very simple, very simple objects. Yes. So my my drawing approach is not about drawing any kind of picture. Mm. But you use a drawing in an, through an algorithm, then you draw step by step the drawing. Let me give you an example. Okay. Which is I mentioned mentioned a metaphor. For example, we have a tool what we call the uh, the lighthouse, and the lighthouse has three interesting components. The first one is the lighthouse itself. This symbolizes the goal where we want to go. Right. Oh, the the other is the let's say the sailing boat or any kind of boat. This is the vehicle. You know, every coaching is about change, is about moving. It's, it's about the journey. So yeah. we need a goal where to go. We need a vehicle. We need a vessel. We need a boat. And uh, we spoke about the circumstances, the sea, the weather, the ocean. The, this is a more complex. Uh, drawing but all in all is quite similar as you can see it but uh, if you compare the two things the 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 traditional verb i'm, I'm not again that against the the traditional approach of coaching which is a verbal process of course i do it right. every day every and every coaching session but if you use a drawing as a style it's somehow uh, it, it's kind of complementary to the verbal process Mm -hmm. Imagine a situation if you do not draw, you might ask abstract questions. Hey, tell me something about your goal. How feasible is it? Where are you now? Do you, is there any risk or something like that? Any obstacles? Uh, in that way, the language doesn't support you. If you are not an experienced coach, it's not easy not to be frozen at a, at a, at a, at a certain point in a coaching conversation. Right. And this is how the drawing helps us because we can speak a lot about the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, uh, how, how attractive is it? Do you trust in the light of the lighthouse, for example? Right. It's a very, very interesting question, very, very deep question. Uh, what happens when you reach the harbor, when you reach the port? What happens with the stop, with the, with the vessels and so on? So in the lighthouse, and the, we can speak about the vessels, who is the captain, uh, who is, how, how many, how many uh, crew do you have? Are you happy with all all, all the stuff? Uh, is there someone who is missing from from these from these vessels? And uh, if someone is not an experienced coach, then they might have a wider vocabulary because a metaphor supports uh, with with its inner logic compared to when you have just an abstract uh, uh, expression or abstract uh, question generation. And the same with what about the weather? What about the reefs? What about the high waves or low waves? Or is is everything is okay, but there is no wind, so no no energy for uh, uh, for uh, um, traveling towards our goals. <laughs> right. You know I, what I like about it is that you you know when you see things sometimes on paper, you could actually visualize things more clearly. Because sometimes when you're speaking, you don't see the whole picture. You're not, you know, you know, you're speaking to someone, you're looking at someone, but sometimes when you have the, the objects on paper or you, you're drawing it, sometimes just like a puzzle, the pieces start to be put together and you start to see the, the whole picture and not just, you know, a few pieces here, a few pieces here and <clears throat> trying to figure yeah. it out in your head. And, and, and that's what I, I'm, I'm getting off of this. And I, I it seems I, I, I kind of like it because it, it kind of, it makes you see things, I think, on a more clear basis. You know, you could really start to <clears throat> understand yeah. where you're at, you know, and, and what do I have to do to get to point B, you know, and what's in the middle, what's stopping me, it's and so mm -hmm. forth. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, th thank you, thank you. That's brilliant uh, ideas. Uh, in a verbal process, you remember what was said. But in a drawing, you can see the wholeness. You can go back. Hey, do you remember this part, that part? 
So somehow this is a this is not just a linear process, but but a more complex. You can touch any part of any part of the conversation, and it supports the cognitive mapping yes. with its with its with its philosophy. <clears throat> and uh, let me bring another example for for uh, for this kind of insight. Uh, let's assume that someone comes to you with a black and uh, black or white decision. Uh, do I choose version A or version B? Right. What we can what we can do in in a, a traditional coaching is, for example, we do a kind of pro, pros and cons analysis, right. and ask the clients, "Hey, hey, we collected together with my full support a kind of pros and cons." And uh, as a coach, I do not push you to make a decision, but I ask, "Hey, how can I support you?" Yeah. And uh, maybe the client goes away. I don't know. At the moment, I don't know. Okay, I will. I will thinking thinking on it, and maybe the next session, I bring some items. But compared to what we can do when we uh, use a kind of visual support, for example, I can draw, can, can you see it? Is it okay if I draw yes. it this way? Yes. I, I, I draw a scheme of a seesaw. This is point A and point B. Mm -hmm. and, and ask him to create this kind of seesaw at three different levels. The first level can be the level of the brain, the level of the heart, and the level of the gut. And of course, we start with the gut level at a very specific moment. How do you feel? Which one do you choose if you had to choose something right now? Mm -hmm. And maybe he, 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 he draws this. Okay, this is my at the moment. You know, and okay, but the heart is the same. A is the winner because this is the heavier, but as a brain perspective, I cannot answer it. I also shortened the process. Of course, it, 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 it is too quick, but uh, you can imagine compared to, uh, compared to a pros and cons analysis, mm -hmm. which mostly touches the, the rational, the left hemisphere of the brain. Yes. Of course, it, it, it's, it's a huge resources of every person. But compared to this, when you draw it and, okay, take it away and think about it, what would you, uh, how would you feel tomorrow? What would you choose as a gut feeling tomorrow? What would you choose from your heart and from your brain? Right. And, you know, it's, a, it's more complex. It generates more insight. Uh, somehow it supports, uh, yeah, the, the, I cannot imagine a better or bigger or more effective support for, 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 for this specific case. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Now, when you wrote your book, what was the goal behind your book? What, you know, tell us a little about your book, the title, and and you know who who's the audience, and and what its primary goal is. Uh, we originally I wanted to write a book for the professional coaches, but later I changed my mind because I see that. Uh, uh, coaching helps to make the world a better place. And my goal was that help not only to professional coaches, but anyone who has a kind of coaching mindset, who, who has willingness to support others through a coaching conversation. Mm -hmm. But if I am not a trained coach, then what, what can I do? How can I be involved into a coaching conversation? And this is uh, where our book uh, comes and support those uh, those roles, leaders, uh, managers, HR specialists, social workers, uh, mentors, <clears throat> uh, parents, sport coaches, or even pastors. Uh, I found a, a nice metaphor uh, uh, metaphor to, to express this. You know, there's a, uh, do you know the word via ferrata? Via ferrata, that's an Italian word. It means uh, the, the iron, iron path or the iron route. It's an Italian expression. Mm -hmm. And this is a kind of a, a protective climbing route in the mountains. It employs steel cables, ladders, and, and, and the, uh, steps, railings that fix to the rock uh, to make the climbing more secure and to prevent the fall. And uh, it helps beginners to climb uh, higher peaks or to, to climb all the peaks where where there's where, where goes a via ferrata so uh, they are they won't be able to reach those peaks 
if if they have to have to be a solo climber professional coaches are solo climber no need for any artificial stuff but <clears throat> But coming back to the coaching by doing, it's it's a kind of guide or kind of via ferrato where unexperienced coaches climb up to the to the top of, of excellent coaching conversations. Mm, I like that. And we would like, you know, and in the book, uh, the, the 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 most important part of the book is uh, the creation of the drawing. For example, coming back to the to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Draw the lighthouse, and you can you can uh, read a couple of questions related to the goals. Focus on on the on the vessel, which which is in progress towards the goal, and focus on the environment. And uh, these are the three steps of creating the drawing. So it's very very easy. There are drawings with two to let's say six steps, extremely easy. And there are related questions which help to to create a conversation, to create a dialogue with the, with, with the coach using their own words. So this is a, a kind of scheme or a kind of template, what you use and what you adopt to the coach's topic, then you are able to create a dialogue, which is uh, helpful to what you targeted to have. I like that. Now, with coaching by drawing, do you focus on specific types of situations, or coaching by drawing could be done? Um, it could help people with all different types of, of situations, <clears throat> or is it more beneficial for certain things other than <clears throat> for us other things? Yeah, that, that's a very good question. Yes, we grouped uh, we grouped uh, these uh, these thirty C tools. The first group is life, path, and relationship, the next step, survey, satisfaction curve, tree of life, for example. Uh, these tools belong to this group. The second one is resources. This is quite similar to what I drew with the pillar of self-esteem, the pearl necklace, shining star, be a champ, or Greek temple, the resources. The third one is mapping goals. How can I approach my journey? The fourth one is achieving goals. And the fifth one is making decisions, supporting decision making. Uh, the, the sixth one is insight. And the last one is the change. These are the major blocks. But all coaching topics are the same. Since, as I mentioned, as it's coming from the original term, we are traveling from point A to point B. And the coaching supports to discover where am I now? Uh, discover where do I want to go? Do I have any options and so on and so on? And the journey, it's, uh, what is the change? I love it. I love it. Now, if we had to take everything we talked about today, what are some things that you'd like to emphasize to the audience that, that you really want them to understand about coaching by drawing? <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> well, I said, thanks to your brilliant questions, I, <laughs> I give a brief and... Uh, and I, I hope powerful insight how, how it works, what kind of components it has. Uh, maybe if you can ask, then I, I can answer the questions. But uh, I guess I shared all, all the facts about what I can be shared in such a, in such a show. Now, is, uh, these techniques, can you do this at home by yourself? Like once you learn you know, how to, um, to do certain, certain therapies by drawing, can you actually be home or do you have to do it with your coach or you'll know certain tools and techniques that you could apply at home for certain situations? Uh, absolutely. All, all, all of the tools can be used for self-development and self-help. Since, uh, uh, what is changing that, uh, you are covering both roles. You are responsible. You are who asks and you are who give the answer. Right, it's quite natural. It's it's very fashionable and uh, often used, as I heard. Even it's 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 taught in universities, as I heard nowadays. The mm -hmm. university uses this book uh, on their coaching courses. So yes, definitely, uh, this guide not, not uh, supports not only the coaches but the process when you want to coach yourself. That's maybe it's a tricky expression, self coaching. I I don't like it, but self help and self development. Yeah, you need an empty A4 page, a pen, a kind of a calm down, mm -hmm. and and you, you use use the algorithm, use the drawing, and uh, go through it and 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 uh, answer your questions. 
And what is very uh, what is very very interesting in traditional coaching when the session finishes, somehow it ends. You have takeaways, but think about after a week or two weeks or one a month. Uh, how can you remember? What is your takeaway? It's yeah. not easy. Not easy to to have such tangible takeaways. Mm -hmm. But but compared to to coaching by doing, as I as I uh, showed it to you with the with a pillar of self esteem, I work I work with the sport athletes. I I work with the Hungarian. Uh, uh, national judo team, for example, I am supporting uh, uh, Christian Toth, who was the bronze medalist in, in Tokyo in uh, 2011, uh, uh -huh. 2021. So you can take it away. You can take it away, as I mentioned, see it every day, watch it and be filled up by your own resources. So this is where an extreme strength of coaching by doing comes then the result you can take away, you can use it just filling up or developing it further and taking back to the coaching session and, and uh, discuss the changes with the coach and develop it also further together. Right. You know, so there's a tangible result uh, where the utilization of these tangible results bring a new dimension, uh, how someone can utilize the coaches. And exactly the same happens when you... Uh, apply it for a self development. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. Now, where can people find your book, Coaching by Jordan? Uh, you can see it on our website, coachingbydoing.com. This is available uh, at the Amazon in ebook and, and the paperback format. Excellent. And we also has a, a Coaching by Doing Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram profiles and pages. Nice. And this, what services do you offer people? <clears throat> uh, I, I, my arts poetic job is to be a coach. <laughs> I offer coaching services, but I offer leadership development, uh, coaching by doing trainings and, and strategy consultancy. Thank you for the question. Now, can they find that information on your website? Yes, yes. Uh, everything is written on our website, what can be useful uh, to, to uh, anyone, to the readers regarding the books and, and any news. In Hungary, what we are doing is now we define the card format, which is easier to use. You imagine the book. Uh, that's not easy to use in a coaching conversation. An image card format, and you have uh, uh, three pages of a card this size as, uh, as this is and uh, and you can use it in a con coaching conversation a real coaching conversation to support it hey okay wait a second i would like to follow the instruction and share with you and create a better conversation <laughs> oh that's nice that's very nice and is that only available in hungary right now or is uh it, it, the the production is in progress it will Excellent. be available in hungary this uh, i know that's uh, not a good news to the u.s market but we started with the hungarian market then and and then uh, we planned the english version Excellent. it's coming at the back as a back to school campaign sometimes in september and then we do the translation as we did uh, with this version it was a good success in the hungarian market we are very happy and very proud and we have many many uh, positive feedbacks and uh, uh, the best thing is that our vision uh, and our dream uh, come true because this book is mostly bought by ordinary people. I mean, ordinary means here, not, not professional coaches, but others. Right. Most of the books sold to, to those who want to develop or yes. those who want to create a coaching conversation with others and, and supporting others. I love it. I love it. I love <laughs> the whole concept. It's Thank great. You. Now, are you Thank also you so on, on social media? Yes, yes, yes. Me personally and the coaching by doing as well on social media. Oh, wonderful. I, I, you can use my name. I, I can, uh, uh, ta, ta, Tamas, uh, Tamas Jardan, T-A-M-A-S-J-A-R-D-A-N. Excellent. Oh, this has been mm -hmm. amazing. Now, before we go, is there anything else you'd like to add to the conversation that you would like the listeners to know? So say it again, the line wasn't okay, sorry. Oh, that's okay. If, um, is there anything else you'd like to say to the audience before we go that you'd like them to know? Uh, well, well, 
I would like to wish a happy doing and successful change to all the listeners and your subscribers. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, I think what you have is a wonderful uh, way of teaching others and bringing the best out of others. You know, I think it's very important visualization, even when um, they did tests and studies, you know, they found that many people are more visual and, you know, they have an easier time obtaining information through visual visualization. You know, some people are better, you know, when they they, ver they hear it verbally, I have no problem. But a lot of people, when it comes to visualization, it's easy to put the pieces together sometimes when you could actually, you know, go into your, your mind and your body and, and then let your emotions take over and let your drawings and pictures and what you have to say turn into pictures and and then go from there and, and see what the underlying meaning of those pictures mean and how that you could apply them to your life. So I, I like I like what you formed. and I, I think it's great. I think it's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Thomas, for being on the show. This has been wonderful. And I I thank you so much for all this uh, information. And uh, I can't wait to read your book. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And once again, I wish everyone happy joining and successful uh, change. <laughs> thank you. You have a great thank day. You. Thank you. Wish you too.